Hi, I'm Kelly Moran, here at Nautilus Live Studios. We're just about halfway through our 2014 season, so we've gathered a list of our top five favorite creatures we've seen so far. Coming in at number five are these chained cat sharks. Although these beautiful creatures can be found off much of the east coast of North and Central America, they have only rarely been spotted by humans. Even better, they are fluorescent. When they are exposed to light, they can store it and emit it at a later time. For number four, we've picked these amazing tube worm colonies discovered near a brine pool in the Gulf of Mexico. Tube worms make their own homes. They anchor themselves to hard sections of the seafloor and secrete a mineral coating around themselves to make the distinctive tube. They also have a symbiotic relationship with the chemosynthetic bacteria that thrive on gas seeps in the area. Number three is an old favorite, the flytrap anemone. We saw hundreds of them adorning several World War II era shipwrecks, especially the Robert E. Lee, a victim of a U-boat that was sunk in 1942. Named for their similarity to the land-dwelling Venus flytrap plant, these anemones face into the current, grabbing any food that drifts past. At number two, we have a famously misnamed creature, the vampire squid. They don't suck blood, they don't turn into bats, and they aren't particularly deadly. Instead, they get their first half of their name from their dark webbing and red eyes. That isn't the only problem with their name. They aren't technically a squid either. They actually share characteristics with both octopus and squid. For our number one favorite creature of the season so far, the choice was easy. It had to be this stunning siphonophore. This organism is actually colonial. It is made up of many individual creatures called zooids. This feather duster-like creature isn't dangerous, but its cousin certainly is. The most famous siphonophore is the dreaded Portuguese man-of-war. That's all of our top five deep sea animals of the season so far. Make sure to check out the rest of our season on nautiluslive.org and follow along with us on social media for live dive updates, highlights, and more.